Absolutely. Then put some on these lips. <clears throat> these lips need some help. Let me get a real mirror. Because I feel like I'm just doing something terrible. Okay. I'm ready. Hello, hello, everybody. So, we're going to do, this is going to be, you know, live. Obviously, that's what it says. I'm live. Whatever. But I was going to film this. Hey, Vanessa, Vanessa. I was going to film this. Hey, Bashan, but then I decided I wanted to go live. So, why not kill two birds with one stone and do this live? And we could talk my favorites. Now, hey, D'Angelo. Hey, Bashan. Hey, Vanessa. I have not done a favorites in a long time. So, we're going to, you know, spend a little time. So, that's why I said might as well do it like this. Um, and I might double back and do some type of video. I don't know. But let's get started. I am jumping right in because I have a lot. Because it has been a long time. Now, the problem is I didn't write a, a note, a list. But we're going to... Working, you know, so I might have to get up and grab some things. That's all I'm saying. So, we're going to start out with a candle. And the reason why we're starting with this candle is because it's not a Bath and Body Works. I am branching out. I don't know if I'm going to spend real money on a candle, but I am branching out. So, this, this is a Perry Ellis White Musk and Santal. Now, I did not know Perry Ellis made. Um, let me get myself to get look at a hot mess. Okay, I didn't know they made candles. I happened to find this on Fragrance Net, and it's you know it's like around fifteen dollars. Now, let me tell you, this is perfect for the bedroom. It is musk and sandalwood, so it's a really it's a really it's a really light musky vibe fra fragrance but here's the reason why I say it's for the bedroom or smaller rooms because it doesn't it doesn't have a super big throw and it's a very gentle fragrance so it's perfect for relaxing you know it's not one of them things where you know you're trying to like make this room smell incredibly you know just really strong no you want it to be soft like in my like when I'm sleeping I don't want it to be like sugary sweet and everything I want it to be like chill you know I like very soft vibes you know so that you can relax and not get a headache so that is why I love this one and they have it back in stock so I'm probably gonna buy up a couple more of these because I really do like them for my room and that's an empties just so you know that is an empty now, before we keep getting started, how was your weekend, men? And then I'm going to start going into the other things. How's your weekend been going? It is early morning. I am drinking my water. All right. So next up, I done told y'all about these. These are the Trader Joe's snacky clusters. Now these are chocolate covered sea salt potato chips, corn chips, and mini pretzel nuggets. And they just kind of like put them all together in these clusters. So it's not like individual because that's what I thought it was. But no, it's like they kind of mash them up together, put and then put, dip them in chocolate and cover them in chocolate. And for some reason, these things are so good and addictive to me. I have to watch myself eating these. So now I'm like counting like, okay, you can have, they say eight, they say about four pieces. They'd be killing me with that. Right. <laughs> they be killing me with that count, you know, like, oh, four pieces. So you're supposed to eat four pieces. Who, who eats that? Who, who really eats the 
so the recommended portions of anything because you know a recommended portion of ice cream is a half a cup whoever who in there who 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 eats a half a cup of ice cream that's all i want to say and yes i sounded like uh, uh um an owl because that's unrealistic oh i know why i look so weird i'm like why am i so dark because i ain't got mother light on oh my goodness then I mess with my light, so my light ain't where it's supposed to be. It ain't giving me all the light I need. <sighs> so, right, who actually eats a half a pork? Uh, could I do this right? Oh my goodness. I got so much stuff. I keep moving stuff around me. I keep getting things. Oh my goodness. All right, so let me fix this light. Okay. Right, don't nobody, nobody, nobody eats a half a cup of ice cream. Nobody. Absolutely nobody. That's why we all fat. And then you watch these things on Instagram and everything, and they doing these ice creams with caramel in them. Let me not, let me, let me stop. Okay. My next food product is a drink. So I don't drink coffee, but I do drink tea and I drink chai. So I get this spiced chai from Trader Joe's, this black tea concentrate, which makes it so easy. So, you know, because I'm trying not to buy them always from Starbucks because I'm a Starbucks hoe. Let me just say that I am a Starbucks hoe. So I've been using these, right? But then I have leveled it up. So if you like chai, and you know, you like the spicy sweetness of it. Watch this. I get the Trader Joe's hot chocolate sticks, the dark chocolate ones, and put this in there. So it is a chocolatey chai. Change the game. Absolutely change the game. And have a biscotti with it. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. My Lord, my Lord. Thank you for this wonderful, tasty treat for me. So, yeah, yeah, so there, there's that. All right, let's get into hair care. So, I'm going to take those upstairs. Let's get into hair care. Did I bring everything I wanted to bring? Did I bring it at all? Do I need to go get it? I thought I had it. I must not agree. What the hell did I do with it? Yes, you're going to have to check out. Now, let me just tell y'all for real about Trader Joe's. I don't like a lot of their frozen meals that everybody talks about i find them pretty tasteless i really do um i know people are like oh my god this is so good no i think their quality has gone down they're, like their tastingness uh, tastiness of it has gone down real talk however when it comes down to snacks on point on point i can always find a good stack snack at trader joe's okay so what the hell did i do with this stuff huh I have some hair care products for y'all. Oh, well, I'll do those in the next one. I put that on my list. But I will show you this because it's sitting right here. This is a moisture mist. And if y'all see that, I'm almost done. See, I'm on this. Y'all know I'm on this empties thing. So this is a moisture mist. I'm leaving conditioner. So if you want something lightweight that you could just spray in your hair, this is by She Scented. Love it. Oh, and then I have this. Oh, I do have my hair care stuff. Yeah this i've been blow drying my hair out a little more so this is the blow dry mist hey sabrina so this is a blow dry mist by kenra now let me tell you this is kind of pricey but what i said this year i'm going to go a little pricey on my hair care because it's like why are you being cheap on your hair care but you smith expensive on other things so i am doing better on this so i'm so this is one that i'm using so this is um this uh kenra blow dry mist and it's lightweight but it does give you protection so for you know just in case you needed to know that that's there 
Now, another thing from She Scented, and She Scented is kind of like my go-to brand. I'm going to, you know, branch out to some other things, but I do love them. This is a Passion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox. Now, um, so this is in a jar. Now, usually, you know, you have these detox um, um, spray, you know, shampoos and stuff. Um, <laughs> You still use that scrap case, did you? Well, they're coming back, so you're good. Um, so this is a good um detox, detoxifying, like if you, especially if you have products in your hair, like you know, you put gel in your hair and things like this. So the way this one works is you um you know, especially on the scalp so you know it's like really good for detoxing. Um, put it on and leave it on for three minutes and then rinse. So I put this on, make sure I get it all over my hair. And really, I kind of use it like a pre-shampoo, um, pre-poo, whatever they call it. So I try to use it then, you know, and then just put it all over my hair, get it all over my scalp, really working it. Let it sit on for three minutes, rinse, and then I wash in the deep condition. So it really does give you, and it's got the charcoal in it. So it really does detox and gets rid of that, um, you know, that extra stuff you have on your hair. It helps to, you know, give your scalp some uh, needed, um, some needed uh, freshness. So that's why I use that. So this is the Passion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox. I will put all this in the description box um, afterwards. <laughs> so people can be like, what is that? What is that? Okay, I'm going to tell y'all. All right. So there's that. All right. So now. skincare skincare i am going let me run because i left something so let me run to my bathroom right quick see that's why this alive you know normally i would have been uh, oh let me finish hair care let me finish hair care So I got this. I've had this for a while. I think I told you. I know I've done a live when I got it. This is the Timo ring. What the heck is all that? Oh, that's crap. I need to clean off. Don't look on that side. This side looks clean. <laughs> so this is a hair straightener. Now, I will say it does work really well. It does have a learning curve because it's sort of like a brush, but it's not a brush, right? So it does do what it's supposed to do. It does straighten out your hair. I won't say that it is better than a flat iron, but I do enjoy it a lot, you know. But it does straighten out the hair. It does leave it very nice and silky. So I have that. And then because, because um, <sighs> my hair has gotten so long, I needed a larger barrel um, curling iron to try. I still don't know how to use it, y'all. I'm not even going to front. Um, but this is the Infinity Pro by Conair. I got it um, because there's a couple of things. I think you, if I'm not mistaken, you could take this part off, the clip. Don't ask me how I forgot. But you can take the clip off if you don't want it to be traditional and use it as a curling wand. I'm not a curling wand chick. I ain't, I'm not about that life. So I need this. But I am trying to learn how to, and it has low and high. I'm trying to learn how to um, really curl my hair again. Because I don't, I, it's been years. It's been, let me just be honest. It's been pretty much decades since I really, you know, straighten out my hair too often so i'm trying to change up my look a little more you know and i and listen i'm not the best with the uh, with the wigs and stuff so i just gotta do my hair so and we have better products than we had like you know 15 20 years ago so it's easier to take care of your hair when you're doing this kind of stuff i am gonna go and get it professionally done because i do need a trim but that's another story all in uh, all in together but let me go get the skincare i'll be right back i was about to pause y'all but i remembered that i'm live because if i was at home you know if i was filming this i just paused it but let me let me run to my bathroom okay let me get you a couple of things to show y'all don't don't 
you know, for the new people, don't be acting up. I am there. trying to cover up so you know I ain't giving out nothing. All right, so if everybody's here, say good morning. Hey, can we get some good mornings? I'm trying not to like Hey Birdie. Okay, so let's talk skincare. Let's start off with cleansers. These three I want to tell y'all about. This is Urban Veda. Daily purifying facial wash. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still congested. This congestion has been lingering for weeks. I am trying to get it out of me this week because it stopped me from doing some things. This is for oily combination skin. This has a mint in it, eucalyptus, witch hazel, and neem. So it is very... <coughs> It, does, it cleans and gives you that astringent quality, but it's not so stripping that you overstrip your skin and produce more oil. Because if you know anything about these things, when you overstrip your skin, you create more, you, you exacerbate the problem because you tell your skin, oh, I need more oil because I'm too dry. So, so just so you know, but this is a really good purifying. It's a really good clarifying cleanser. So if you have oily skin and you need to like, you know, give your skin some love, but not too drying. This is perfect for this. And this is very inexpensive. Then we have this one, which is Andalou Apricot Probiotic Cleansing Milk. This is for more combination dry skin. This is good for, I use, I like stuff like this in the winter time because it's so dry here, you know, when you're in dry heat and everything. So this is good to cleanse your skin but also give it some moisturizing feelings to it and give make it keep it soft right because i got a thing i need my skin to be soft y'all so this is a probiotic cleanser so it actually is putting back um nutrients in your skin that you need and it leaves your skin feeling really clean and fresh yet still soft and moisturized so this is the andalou uh, Apri apricot probiotic cleansing milk this one is a little more pricey but it's worth it this is tula this is the purifying facial cleanser now i stopped using this recently because i don't use it in the winter time because it is what it is this is going to this is for you if you have oily combination skin so this is perfect for like spring and summer especially you know early fall when it's still humid when my skin is a little more you know oily you know, I have a look, you know, I, I, I kind of get that greasy look, you know, I start looking like I've been dipped in, in chicken grease. So this helps to like cut through that, but it doesn't leave your skin too overstripped. Well, that's the whole thing. Listen, oily girls, y'all gotta, y'all gotta learn, especially you young ones. Don't be trying to use stuff that's going to strip, strip your skin because then you wind up telling your skin to make more oil, produce more oil. That is the biggest thing that, that people do. All right. So now let's talk toners. Um, I just had the other one. I know I picked it up, y'all. What I do? It, I, see, I got too much shit over here. Oh, here it is. Ah, I found it. Okay. So I know this is in the box, but I actually used a sample and bought another one. So this is Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. 
Now, let me say this. It has niacinamide in it, so it really, you know, it sucks them pores in. And now this one is a brightening one, and this is more of a true um, traditional um, toner. So it's going to definitely, you know, get out all the excess impurities from after cleansing and all that. Now, let me tell you something. I know people love good molecules, but this is, I can honestly say this is the first good molecules product that I've tried that I really like. I've heard things about them and they're like, oh my God, they're so wonderful. Oh my God. Oh my God. And then I've gotten them and been thoroughly disappointed. However, I had a sample of this and this really works well. It's a really, it's not too it's not too strong, so it doesn't strip you too much, but it gives you that. Listen, if you use a toner, you sometimes want it to feel like my skin is just like crisp and clean. That's what sometimes that's what this gives you. But it also has the niacinamide and things to brighten your skin. So it actually is like helping to start the process of snatching them pores. Okay. Now, this is the one I'm, I'm on right now, though, that I am in love with. In absolutely in love with. This is the Thayer's Hydrating Milky Toner. Total opposite of niacinamide one. Now, if you are one of these type of people who are trying to use essences and stuff, here's what I'm going to tell you. You use this, you don't need the essence. This is a this is a milky toner. So it does what it does is it does what a toner does, removes impurities and everything, but it has um, hyaluronic acid, so it softens your skin. So it's not like the niacinamide, like that one where you feel crisp. You feel soft and like, oh, I've done something so gentle to my skin. And it, somebody told me it has snowy snow mushroom, which is a smaller type of hyaluronic acid. Because some, a lot of times what people say is like the hyaluronic acid, the molecules are too large to really penetrate. Hey, cat, But this is on point. So that is the Hydrating Milky Toner by um, Thayer's. And it's inexpensive. That big ass thing is like $15. Ooh, I'm about to show y'all everything. That was not about to be good. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, so that's that. Now, another thing that I have used recently. Okay, so I do both. So here's the question. Do you use a cotton round? So with this one. I use my hands with this one. I've been using cotton, but I use them both. I do either way. So lately they've been saying to, you know, part of it is to say, you know, you know, to less consumption. So I use them both. So sometimes I, um, so I do use, it's, actually I've seen me do it. You just didn't know I was doing. I do pour it in my hands and do like this and then press it in. So I do. How'd you, who, do, who was, who's, on, who's touching your hair? I'm going to need the, how, okay, I, I thought you were done with me. I was, remember when help me take the picture? Because we're doing your hair, but I don't need anybody touching your hair until I'm ready to do it. What you doing? I am being invaded. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Oh, uh, boy. Go find some... Go get your uh, iPad. It's by my bed. Uh, Bakari, go get your iPad. It's by the bed. Go look by go look by Gigi's bed and get your iPad. Uh-uh, yeah, uh, that, that, you're doing too much. And do you gotta go to the bathroom? I'm so sorry. We're having a preemptive. Do you need to, um, go get your iPad? Go get your iPad. Go look by my bed. Go look by Gigi's bed. Why isn't he listening to me? Bakari Iman. Is somebody else coming? Oh my God. You want to get on? You, you, you trying to say hello or something? Nice pink. Nice pink. <coughs> this child, man. Okay, listen. <coughs> Go find your iPad. It's by, by Gigi's bed. Yeah. <coughs> Go by the bed. <coughs> Give me a second. Yo, 
your iPad. Your iPad is over there. Go get it. <coughs> no. The cat is not bothering your iPad. Stop yelling at her. <sighs> Hello, Kaylin. Here. Get on your iPad. Don't touch that. No, I, don't you touch another thing. You can. All right. Okay, now go and sit down. Okay, could you, could you, uh, okay, go sit on the bed. You can take that upstairs with you. So he watches. Have y'all heard of Bino and Fino? They do Afro beats. They do. Could you take that over there? Take, come on, come on. Go take them upstairs. You gonna go dance? Okay, go show that to your sissy. Go find sissy and, and y'all can dance together. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so I have this. I have Okay. I like it though, because it's like, you know, you get. Okay. Move your body to the left. Move your body to the right. Turn around, turn around. Come on and dance, dance, dance. Oh, this is this is a jam. This got a, this a bop. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I was. I'm sorry. We be dancing to this. Can y'all hear this? Okay. You go. You gonna give me a. You gonna give me not monet. Okay. You about to give me a monetize. I'm not even gonna be able to monetize this thing. Okay. I'm not, so let me just keep going. So this is Innisfree Green Tea um, Caffeine Bright Eye Serum. So this is for the daytime because um, I use two serums in the daytime. So I use a regular serum. My, actually, my daytime skincare is more than my nighttime. My nighttime is pretty easy breezy. It's my daytime. It's like all these steps. So this is Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. Now, I got this in a FabFitFun box. I have to check and see if it's still around because a lot of times they get a lot of discontinued products. So it's like, so thank you for letting me get into it. Right? Oh, that's right. You're in the DR. Have fun, girl. <coughs> that's right. You are in the DR. You and Shannon. And so then this is the green tea caffeine. So this one is to snatch them eyes, right? To get this works on under eye lines and everything. This is for brightening. So this is for the daytime to really brighten up my eyes and everything right there. All right. Now. I'm not going to go off. Um, um, yeah, see, I don't have bags. What? Uh, do, yes. I see. Thank you. It is a spider in there. Oh, Jesus. Don't move it. It's a spider in a cup, y'all. Don't move it. So then you pick it up. Oh, Lord. So now you go, could you cover it? Don't let it out. Oh, he's trying to kill me. Gigi. Yes. We did it. Okay, don't pick it up again. 
Leave it there. Yes, we found a spider. Let's leave it there. Don't touch it again. Listen, four-year-old boys, leave it alone. I have lost control of this live. I apologize. Let me apologize in advance to y'all. Hold on. I apologize. My grandson has taken over this live. Please forgive me. Okay. So we got that. Yeah. So this is good. This is good for under eye brightening. I have another one that I used years ago, but this is a good one. Catching spiders and stuff. You know, let's have a let's have a station break. I told B the other day, I said, you know, we're not winning in this house. The kids that we we're losing. The adults are not winning in this household. The kids are winning. We just hear supporting players in their in their lives. We are supporting players in their little lives. Okay. So now, let me tell y'all about this. Now, I don't know if this is still available. I'm still trying to find out. They have it in a different, you know, um, delivery system, a different product. But I have this. This is called Green Goose Skin Repair Sal. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> right Right here, you see, I'm chill. Um, spiders have a place in this world. So this has got aloe vera, rose hip seed oil. This, if I, I'm gonna try to see if I can find it, and I will. Put, whoop, so he just keeps messing with the feet. Bakari Iman, if you don't leave that spider alone, young man, we are going to have a problem. Cover it up. I bet not. See you pick up that cup, cup again. Don't you talk. Stop it, Bakari. Go upstairs. Go see Daddy. Okay, then stop touching it. Because he's about to stop this right now. So anyway, this is so good if your skin is dry. You know, I, I use this on my hands. So like if you have dry spots, this stuff is so good. And it is green goo because it's green. So it's got the aloe vera. It's got aloe vera in it. Let me tell you what it's got. It's got aloe vera, um, beeswax, uh, sunflower oil, olive oil, coconut oil, vitamin E, helichrysum. So this is a really good just moisturizing so, so now I do, I've been looking for it again because I happen to purchase it on Amazon and I'm going to go on their site because I can't find it like this. Now they do have it in different, you know, product forms, but I personally like the salve because I like to, you know, I like that grease vibe. You know, I'm, I'm black. I'm a, I'm a black woman. We love, we love grease. We grew up on grease. We, we grew up on, you know, the grease on our hair, our family, our mamas and our aunties and our big moms, you know, grease in our face when it was cold outside. We grew up on grease. You know, you put Vaseline on your elbows. We do all these things. So, so anyway, that's that. So that's that. Um, if I can find it, the that particular one, I will put the link up so y'all can find it too. Because I'm telling y'all that stuff is it is gold on the skin. I promise y'all. All right. So now we're gonna get into. I'm all, I'm not gonna be um uh, exactly. It's like the same jar as nature's blessings. You know, I love this stuff. Right. Okay. So there we have it. So now we're there. So now next up is let's talk. Skin care, body care. We're going to get into some body care. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Because I'm not, because A, because this boy is, I don't know what he's doing at my feet. He's trying to like kill me with this damn spider. Okay, so here's the thing. If you all want to see, you want me to talk about my shower routine, let me, let me say that. Not see because we don't do thigh meat and under boob here. Um, side boob because you know that's you know the soft porn s s shower routines. Y'all know how I feel about them. But anyway, 
Anyhow, anywho, let's talk about this. This is so one of the things we know we always want to do is we want to moisturize. Now, I'm not going to get into my body washes because y'all know I got 17,000 of them, right? But we're going to talk about this particular product. Now, we're not going to talk about the scrubs. The next time we go around, I'll do the scrubs. I pull out some body washes, right? Y'all know they be trying. You know how they do these uh, things. And then they do like right below the booty because they got to do, you know, it's like, come on, y'all. Okay. So anyway, one of the things I do is, of course, in shower moisturizing. Now, I do it in a different how do I say this? A different order than you expect. Right. So the next time we'll do some scrubs, I'll talk about some scrubs I have because I got some good scrubs, y'all. I got some good scrubs. And I'm moving away from like the, uh, what is it called? The tree hut and stuff. I, I'm elevating on that too because we got, to, I'm, I'm all about the elevation in 2024. All about the elevation. But anyway. So, this is what I've been using. I've been using the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion. Now, um, oh, I do have the KP scrub. That is good. I need to get a new thing of it. Um, so, this is, now, the, what they say is do it after you cleanse and apply it on wet skin. And I do, but I, but I, it's sandwiched. Because I actually, um, I actually use two different cleansers that's why i said if y'all want me to talk about shower routines i can't so i use a cleanser that's there to mo to cleanse and moisturize which is my first layer then i put this on and the reason why i put this on is because this one is um fragrance free so what happens is if you use a body wash that has fragrance on it honey this will mask it mask it so um but what this is, if you're looking to like really start the moisturizing of your skin, especially in this time of year when it's like a little too, you know, it's drier outside, this is perfect. So, and it's also, um, well, okay, so here's the difference with this one, and this is why I like this one. This is supposed to be rinsed off. So a lot of them, like Curel and all of them are like, okay, put them on. And I do do that with um, some other things. They was like, put it on wet, and then that's it, right? No, this is an in-shower moisturizer. So you're putting it on and then rinsing it off. and so and so But you still get the effect. So I put it on, yay, woo! Thigh meat, booty cheeks, boobs. I get it all. Okay. Just had to throw out my version of soft porn. So, but this does it in the shower. As opposed to the ones that say in shower moisturizing, which means once you're done, you, t you, you take it and put it on. No, this is truly an in shower. So that's why I like it. Because, like I said, so I sandwich this in between my two cleansers. Because one is to, you know, really, like, cleanse my skin, give me some moisturizing, whatever I'm using it for. I put this on, rinse it off, and then use the fragranced body wash, which I want to end with. And it is perfect. So, I went on and on. That just was too long a conversation. So, sorry. Let's keep it moving. All right, let's talk a little makeup. Don't have a lot right now because we know that I have not been wearing a lot of makeup lately. But I'm going to show y'all some that I've gotten recently that I have been using. I will try to, you know, see, this is why I never get makeup on. Because if I had taken the time to put on makeup and tried to film, which was what I was going to do, then this little child would have been here and that would have ended all of that. So I just be having to take, I have to snatch my time, y'all. I just, multi-generational living is tough. Okay, let me stop. Let's talk makeup. Let's talk makeup. Right, so any of those that say in shower, I would suggest doing it like that. As opposed to doing it when they say, do it in between. If you use two different cleansers. Yeah. Get off my shelf. Uh, Bakari, get back over here. You want to put on something? Pick out something. You like that one? You don't even know what it is. Let me see. Let's see what this is. Okay, you can spray yourself. 
There you go. Spray it on. You smell good. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, let's keep it. So, you layering now? Okay. Let's layer. Okay. There you go. No more. That's enough. You gonna go upstairs smelling like you about to turn out somebody. Okay. So then we have that. So let's talk makeup right quick. I don't have a lot of makeup products because I don't get to put on my makeup as often as I would like. But let's go forward. All right. So here's some things um, that I have been using, but just not all the time. So this is Elf Halo Glow uh, Liquid Filter. This is a dupe for charlotte tilbury's flawless filter which i've had for years um i'm gonna get rid of it because i'm just gonna keep this one but it does do the same thing if you don't know what it does it is a you can use it to to do it like this will give you a natural glow um so if you're looking for something where you just want to give a glow to your skin this is good now for me i will put this on as a first step and all over you can just put it on your high points and it gives you a really cute look or you can do it like all over your skin and then use your foundation and then it will like especially if you do a powder foundation it'll give you this nice glow so that's boy if you don't stop messing with them bottles now this is the maybelline Superstay skin tint which is a very it's like a medium coverage but it's a little different delivery of it and it's a little thinner so you can build it up to a medium coverage so this is for somebody who wants just a little coverage you're not trying to do the full face the the you know full beat but you want something good this is good now the other thing is this right here this is by euphoria and this is what do they call this the chemical reaction excuse me now i'm hearing too much clicking that is not to play with stop it so this is a blush now you know how they always be like oh it was a chemical reaction and where's your skin it gives you a certain color yeah 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 so when you put it on it's like this and then as you kind of and it's really thin so it gives you a really thin coverage but it can give you just a cute little glow to your skin just like a peachy little just a peachy little sun to the cheeks you know you're just going out just want a little color you just want to look a little fresh you're not trying to put on a full face and this is good for like not wearing a whole lot of makeup you just want to have a little color there you go now, i've been kind of like into that vibe lately like we went out today i might just do that and then we have some lip products i've been into balms and lip glosses a lot lately because with being at work I just don't have time for lipsticks every day because then you got to wor worry about reapplying, things like that. So at work, you know, you kind of just doing lip balms and stuff. So I've been using these Juvia's Place ones. The Juvia's Place ones are nice. These are the, what does she call these? Now, I am going to hurt you, little boy. Stop touching those. Get on your stuff. Leave those alone. Those are not toys. They're not, did I say don't touch them? Then don't touch them. You're about to get in trouble. So, this is their glow sticks, I think they're calling them, or something sticks. These are the stick ones. And this is like what I have on right now. So, it's super cute. Gives you a little color. And then the, and I like a gloss with some color. I'm sorry, I don't need glosses that don't look like shit on my lips. I need some color on my, yes, boy. What you need? Nothing over here. This ain't toy land. Go get your toys and bring them down here. Go get your toys. Go get your car. Go upstairs and get you a car and bring it back down. Go. Go upstairs. Get you some toys. Go get you your cars. And I like them because they got color. Because I don't like glosses that are just like, oh, it's just a sh No, I need color on that. Let me show you. Be sure to smile while you do it. I need a picture for See, I want some color on that. I need them to have color. I don't need this like wash of color lip gloss. No, no, no. 
I want to see some color on my lips. That's what they're here for. So these are the Juvia's Place. I forget which line this is. I'll try to. I'll put, make sure I put it all in the description which ones this are. But this is called Moreau. This is a good fall color. So anyway, there's that. And then let me tell y'all, Miss Faith sent me my new favorite, favorite nude lip color. Let me show y'all this. This is Lisa Eldridge. Now, I have been avoiding Lisa because she's kind of pricey. She pricey for years. And now Faith has sent me this one. And she has opened up this can of worms. She has put Pandora's boxes open. The genie is out of the bottle. And now I am in trouble. So look at this. This is the most beautiful nude color for me. Oh, my God. Look at that. This is called Velvet Muse. She's killing me. Okay, because now I want all the Lisa Eldridge's. I want them all. Just a Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find some of y'all. Where is... Maybe I put it in something. So, yeah. That's, she, didn't, she didn't just upgrade in my life. Now I gotta buy some stuff. What I can't find... Maybe I have it in my life. Oh, snap. I'm gonna have to show y'all this. And another one, because it must be, because I was going to show you mascara uh, and how I've been using mascaras lately and the primer I've been using, because I've been actually, when I don't put on lashes, I do a primer and mascara and my lash, lashes have been looking good. But anyway, so let's talk about the last makeup and then we're going to get into the... Ow! The things y'all that y'all here for, which is the fragrances. And I've been on here for like 47 minutes. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to put time stamps on this damn thing. So this is our glass. This is their they do these every year. They do these type of things. This is now this is pricey. She's not cheap. This is splurge. Now I would say, like for somebody like me, it's because I just love makeup. But if you're somebody who is not big on makeup, but you want to give yourself a really good vibe, you know, look really good put together thing. This is a good one to have. This is, this is the lighting. This is edit unlocked. They do these at um, Christmas time. I'm not going to lie. They're expensive. This thing is $80. So, but our glass is known for the fact that their stuff is very ethereal on the skin. It is very, um, just like almost skin like natural vibes. So, this oh my goodness! And they've been coming out with darker um, colors because the uh, issue was always with hourglass. This shit was for you know the palest of the pale. I could barely buy them, but now they're coming out with deeper, they're coming out with deeper uh, shades which work better. So, like these are the uh. You know, these are all blushes, and then these are highlighters, and then this is a bronze. And now that bronze ain't for everybody. Um, it's at be tan at best. But the this all the rest of that is so beautiful on the skin. So, like, let me give y'all a little something, something. So this is like how it would look. Oh, I cannot swatch anymore, baby. You could tell I don't do makeup videos because my swatching is off. So you see how it comes on and then it's super, you know, you can wash it out and it's just gorgeous. So they always have one of these, but the best ones come out in the at the Christmas time. And then they have like really cute packaging to make it even worth it. Because my other one is Tiger, I think. Uh, I meant to switch this to Butterfly, but anyway, we ain't going. And here's a good thing. These are on Sephora and on Ulta, 
So when they have the 20% off coupons around that time of year, that's when you get them. Because you'll never. And, and Hourglass does a sale too. So there we go. Let me drink some more water. Let me take some supplements. And then we're going to keep going. We're going to keep we're gonna keep going. Now, one thing I forgot to tell y'all about when it comes to body care, if you're trying to give yourself a little glow this winter time, you know, the, the glow is off. You know, we looking a little we looking a little raggedy. It's winter time. You know, we looking dry. We looking tired. So here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get this Jergens Melanin Glow luminizing moisturizer this one is the bronze one i also have i think the golden one y'all these are perfect at this time of year for your skin because you look a little healthier you know we're trying to look healthier we're trying to get out of that winter block so this will make you look honey these will make you look like you know you've been living your best life you might have went on vacation all that other good stuff let me take these supplements <laughs> Let me show y'all. You don't need a lot. So this is definitely, you know, it's Jergens. It's got some, but this is, I would say use this. You know we look at dry and raggedy. So this is like, because this ain't really something that I would say to use to stay, you know, hydrate. I'm gonna put this on as your last piece. You see that? Okay, look at the difference. You see the difference. So this make you look glowy and like you you living your best life. You living your best life. So anyway, yes, the Jergens Melanin Glow. I will put the links for these so you can get these too. All right, so there we have that. Now let's get into the other body care. Let's get into the scented stuff because that's what y'all here for. I know that's what y'all here for. Y'all here for the scented stuff. So let's hit the scented stuff. Oh, okay, that's over there. See, see, you see, I got, I got, I got a witness to it. it it's, it has you glowing, baby. Oh no, and it, and it's so subtle that no one, you know, what I'm saying because sometimes we wanna, we wanna glow, but we don't want everybody to know what we're doing. We just want it to be low key. That's when you be in the low key. Oh, low, low let's low key it up. Okay, so now. First off, body care. Low key hose up in the house. Okay. Now, y'all see this? We know that I'm on an empties journey this year. So, this is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. Um, I don't have my mascara here. It's upstairs in my bag, so I can't show it to you. But I'm going, I will do my mascara routine. I'm going to try to do it as a short just to show y'all how to really amp up your, if you're using mascara. Because it, it, it's a routine. Um, so, this is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms by Bath and Body Works. Now, we know their body creams are fine. It's always about the scent. I have been using this one a lot because it's just a... Um, fresh vanilla and so this kind of works with everything like some vanillas are a little different right but this is just a fresh vanilla and i've just been determined you know this is my empties y'all see this is almost gone it's gonna be in the basket y'all what are you touching now now you got the mirror okay you can look at yourself in the mirror so this is, I, I don't think they have another, you know, the thing with Bath and Body Works, which is so freaking annoying is, of course, they like move stuff in and out so quickly. So I don't think they have this one right now, but um, it's a nice, it's a good vanilla. Now I am going to be on the hunt for my next vanilla as I get rid of these because I have some more that I can get rid of. So I'm going to be looking for another one that like, once I use this one up, that gives me that fresh vanilla because this has suede petals and sandalwood. So it is whoo, nice. Okay. 
So it's vanilla, but not too thick of vanilla, which is perfect for me for layering. Because I don't necessarily want the vanilla to be so thick. I want it to be a little thin veil of vanilla sometimes. All right. So that's that. Now, let me just tell y'all. I've just got these and oh yes they are good now we know that i have fallen in love with sugar mama fragrances okay so the body oil i like too but this body butter is giving so this is their body butters first off their pricing is really good you know why when everybody running around buying them skin potions and shit fuck them i'm i'm i can't do it but i love these because every fragrance she has you can get in every whatever you want you can get body butters you can get body oils you can get a body mist you can get a perfume so this right here first off the the consistency is like in between a thick and a thin you know it's not super whip but it's not super it's more of a whip body butter which is what i prefer but besides the fragrance because i'm gonna tell you about this fragrance right here the consistency and how it makes your skin feel is so wonderful. I, I put it on the first time I got it, and I was like, and you know how you sit there for a minute, and it's like, whoa, my skin feels so soft. That's what it did. It penetrated. It wasn't greasy. It was perfect. She has like aloe vera oil, sunflower oil, glycerin, shea butter, coconut oil, cocoa butter. They are so good. Now, let me tell you about the fragrance. This is almond croissant. I was wearing this the other day. I layered this with something, and it was like the first time, like I really just like slathered myself with it. Cause you know, like you try it, you spray it, you with stuff like this, you you try it, right? You put it a little bit on, be like, oh, okay, okay, y'all. When I put this on, I did smell like an almond croissant. I smelled the breadiness, and the sweet breadiness of it, and the almonds. Hands up, hands up. So once again, another thing, I'm in love with her stuff. So I might be trying some of her vanillas because she has a lot of vanillas for my next body butter once I'm done with that. Because her pricing is so good. I think this was like maybe $12 or something. It was super inexpensive, you know, when it comes to stuff like this because I am now trying to get smaller amounts, right? Because for a while, you know, I was buying these huge amounts, but you never get through them because you're using so much. So now my goal is to get smaller amounts that I can actually use up and then move on to something new or repurchase it as opposed to having like 20 ounces. Like I right now have 20 ounce things tubs of Josie Mirror argan oil body butters so I am I'm I'm you know I'm being a little so with spending money it's always you see them big old things and you're like yes yeah, it's such a good deal but it's not a good deal if you're not using it up so I'm moving out of that and making sure that I get smaller amounts that are actually usable and that I can enjoy. Hi, Shirley. I will enjoy and use. There's a lot of people in here because y'all all say good morning. It's 14 people here. Say good morning. Am I giving you something you need? Here come my daughter. She going to have to wait. She going to have to wait. So I'm saying like if you go on from there website you will find some good fragrances you will find the good ones right there i'm declining you you have to come down okay so that's that then um speaking of oils right you right because it's like there's so much product and we always want to try some new stuff so as opposed to trying new stuff and then having stuff sitting up back here getting dust i need to use it and get it moving i, I bet you these kids is a okay now let's talk oils so that was that oil now the other thing that i want to tell y'all about as we, and i'm about to get into just straight fragrances um, I bought, oh, they're not taking orders, right? Now. They did say they was taking a break. I hope it's not a break for long, y'all, because I need to move. So I bought these perfume bombs. 
perfumes. So these are solid perfumes. Y'all, these are so beautiful to layer with. This is sandalwood and rose. She's and times. I am in love with this. Oh, it is giving sandalwood, it's giving rose. Why are you going to my back it up? For the people who are new in my brand, DJ, I mean, Bakari's a DJ. Bakari, mom, what are you touching? Put it back. Don't touch anything. So I love these. And it was a good way to try some fragrances without spending a lot of money because this is the smallest one. So these are like $9. So I picked these up. And this one right here is killing. This is strawberries and whipped cream. I am going. Have y'all seen the strawberries having a moment? Have y'all seen all these strawberry fragrances coming now? Honey, Sugar Mama has like two or three, four. I'm about to get mine from her. This is strawberries and whipped cream. Oh my God. And that's exactly what it smells like. All right, so there's that. Then I also purchased. Oh, let me get up now. Let me let me not show everything. No. You're trying to make show. Okay. Sorry, y'all. But Kari, what are you doing? Uh-uh. Get from over there. You ain't slick. Come up, get over from over by Gigi's makeup. Because there's too many complexion color products over there. All right. This is the Harima Al Sultan. This is the blue. Now, I know everybody was talking about the original and the gold, but this blue is hitting. I told y'all this is a this is a sugar daddy magnet, y'all. This is a sugar daddy magnet. This is giving this is more floral though. So it's more my style. So if you want something that's a little more floral, that's what you want. That's what you want. I gotta hurry this up because I gotta I didn't took my shower, I gotta throw some clothes on because I gotta go to Costco and spend all of my money. Did you hear me? We're going to Costco. I will be broke when I come back. All right, so that's that oil. Now let's talk about fragrances, and then I'm out. Okay, so fragrances that have that. I'm there's been so many because I really haven't done like a super favorite. So let's just talk about a few of them. Let's just talk about a few of them. Just a few, because I've been having some chokeholds on some stuff, y'all. But let's talk about what's really been having me lately. Um, let me take this off of here. I'll be right. I know, I want her to stop calling me. I'm not answering the phone now. I'm gonna. I'm getting dressed. I'm gonna get dressed. We have to go to Costco. Um. Uh, she needs to just come downstairs. I go myself. Okay, so here we go. Dawkins Aroma Black Rose. I keep telling y'all about this. This is a plummy rose patchouli. Oh my God, it's so sexy. This is an ankle sprayer. <laughs> Which I'm about to do on TikTok. My ankle sprayer list. <laughs> Y'all, this is so delicious. It is so sexy. It is let's <clears throat> give. Let's give them. Now, I have all of a sudden really been vibing with this one, even though I've had it for a while, but now I'm really vibing with it. This is Herrera Tuberose. If they make a dupe of this, I'm gonna tell y'all, if y'all don't want to spend the money, if they really do make a good dupe of this, you need to snatch this one. Because it is the white florals. It's got ylang ylang and vanilla. The vanilla is just enough. But it is, ooh, it's glorious. And ooh, it's... It is giving that white florals. And it's definitely tuberose. And, but it's got the ylang ylang to give it a little, you know, extra zhuzh of sexy with a little touch of vanilla. And the vanilla is not too much. It's just right. Now, next up. 
is Kai Fragrances. We're going to give him a look. We're going to give my, my boy Jesse, my boy JC some love. I'm going to just put, there's another one of just that I just got. Hold on. Where's that? What did I do with it? Did I put it up? Okay, let me find it. It's probably on my desk. It's full of every get damn thing I own. All right, justify your love. Pistachios having a moment, and this is a pistachio moment. It has a little spice in it. It's got saffron, so it's a little spice. It got a little hint of spice, but it's got the pistachio. It has got a light weightness to it. It is serving. Oh. Now, for my people who know, y'all know JC know how to make these. Y'all know if he putting this up, if he putting a a, a a gourmand note in his stuff and it's kind of coming off gourmand, y'all know it's good because we know that JC is a master with them. And then we have, there will always be a you, which is a salted caramel oud, vanilla oud. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Give it to me, give it to me. Where's the one I'm looking for? I want to tell y'all about this one because I was just wearing it. He just sent it to me. So let me see, can I find it? But in the meantime, let me tell y'all about this one. Where's the other one? I have so many fragrances sitting here. Okay, this one. This is another Dawkins of Rome. This is pink cotton. Pink cotton, y'all. Now, I want Dawkins of Rome has a lot of inspired fragrances. I did not want those. I only went for her their actual fragrances. And this is good. This is giving marshmallow and cotton candy. It's a very and it's oh my goodness. And I don't normally like that stuff like this, but it's light, it's not so heavy and sweet. So it's kind of like giving you a cotton candy. It's giving you like pink cotton candy vibe because it's giving you that sugary marshmallowy sweetness, but in a lightweight, much lighter, much you know, softer vibe. So pink cotton. Love it. Then uh, hold, let me just see if I can understand that. Uh, 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 uh. Where is it, y'all? Give me a second. Oh, it's down here. I'm trying not to. This thing is falling down and it's about to give y'all something. It's about to give me. Okay, this is Snowy Nights. This is a vanilla amber sandalwood. This is such a pretty soft vibe. This is soft life. You know, people are soft. This is soft life in a bottle. This is just this sandalwood with a hint of vanilla. The sandalwood is perfect, y'all. This is so good. It's like, this is like perfect. Go to the bathroom. Get up. why are you in my stuff? Uh-uh. Get over here. Come here. Come over here because I see you. Uh 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 uh. You better not be touching my stuff. So anyway, this is just as perfect, soft. What did I say, Bakari Iman? You're about to get embarrassed on live. And then I'm going to have somebody talking about child protective services. Because I'm about to beat your butt. With the, where's, where's this? Thing? Get over here. So, yeah. This is a vibe. This is a soft life vibe. It's vanilla, amber. And like I said, the sandalwood is so perfect. With a hint of vanilla. I am in love with this one. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. Then we have, of course, my sugar mama's fragrances. We have honeyed apricot ambrosia. <gasps> Spicy honeyed apricot. Is there another? Did you see another spider? You would tell him in the basement. 
and then not this one. Uh, <laughs> when, 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 baby, and the one I've been telling y'all about that I've been using, man trap, man trap, because I be trap. I'm trying to trap. This is 2024. I'm on a trap. I'm on trapping. I'm trapping. So this is man trap. This has got this pomegranate, juicy bergamot. So it's like a juicy yet tart in the beginning, but florals. Yes, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it's giving all of that. All of that. Okay, I think I'm going to have to stop here, y'all. Because two things are going on. Bianca keeps calling me. And y'all best friend, Bakari. He's behind me getting into things. And like I said, I'm not winning. We're not winning. I'm just a co-star in his, in his production. Him and his sister's production. All right, so I think that is all of them right now because I will be doing the good, the bad, and the mad. So we will go over some more fragrances that I've gotten recently and just give it to y'all all. But right now, these are my favorites that I could like get my hands on. I promise I'm gonna do better with favorites in 2024. I'm trying to be better about a lot of things. Oops, but I forgot this one before we get off, y'all. Amore Cafe. The world is waiting for yes. Try music. What'd you try? It's a minute. Try the Okay. It's a minute. I tried this way. Oh, it's this. Thank you, turn off lights. This you know, coffee is having another moment, and this is a coffee drink. They say it's an affogato. Yes, it is just giving all that. It is giving whipped cream, it's giving sweetness, it's giving coffee. Y'all know we love and coffee. Coffee's having a momentito. Because have y'all seen that new uh La Entre D is gonna be tuberose and coffee? I am excited. I think I'm going to play with some coffee stuff I have, though, and do a tuberose. See how it looks, how it feels. Uh, get out of my closet, boy. Anyway, I've done all I can. I will get back today and list everything in the description box, and I will add in timestamps because this has gotten away from me. This has gotten away from me. I tried to keep it in line, but you know, the four-year-old toddler will mess it up. I would have been done with this thing. <gasps> I forgot. To, oh, I did forget some stuff, too, because I forgot to bring. Oh, well, for the next one. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.